always vocal about the fact that our first, the, that there should be disaster resilient infrastructure there should be collaboration between the countries so that disaster resilient infrastructure can be formulated uh, but yes these uh, disaster resilient infrastructure cannot be erected or cannot be created or cannot be constructed uh, you know in a short span of time so by the time in next uh, four years or five years down the line if in case these kind of disaster resilient infrastructure are being focused upon in the meanwhile, we know this fact that natural calamities and the cyclones or uh, these kind of disasters are not in the hands of human beings. Uh, the, these are the natural... At uh, this point in time, the focus is that how accurate our weather forecasting can be. That's number one. Because this time around, it is because of the proper and accurate weather forecasting, the loss, loss to both the states like uh, uh, Odisha and West Bengal, both, of, both these two states have uh, faced... Uh, severe infrastructure loss in in in, uh, uh, in this cyclone ayas and not only this time fact in the month of may that means in 2020 uh, cyclone Amphan that did hit uh, uh, Odisha and West Bengal and at that time also last year in the month of May, uh, you know, Prime Minister Narendra Modi may, did an aerial survey and the focus at that time also was, you know, uh, that how to deal with this double challenge of COVID-19 virus and of course the cyclone. And they're ensuring that uh, as far as the post-cyclone impact is concerned, how can they be, uh, that be minimized? The Ministry of Power, Ministry of Telecom, Ministry of Road Transport, Ministry of Earth Sciences, all these ministries are constantly reviewing the situation and they're constantly monitoring the situation as far as uh, the impact because of, uh, because of the impact of cyclone yards. Even Ministry of Petroleum.